So we are working. All right. Vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So looking at this graph, we have one, two, three vertical asymptotes. So which would be correct answers? Is the limit as x approaches 4 negative infinity? Is that a correct answer? The limit as x approaches 4, would that be negative infinity? Well, if it had a plus sign here, that would be a correct answer. But since we're going two different directions here, no, that's not a correct answer. As x approaches negative 2 from the left, as we're approaching negative 2 from the left, does it go towards negative infinity? Yeah. As we approach negative 2 from the right, does it go towards negative infinity? Yes. So it would be this one and this one because they both go towards negative infinity. All right. Looks like uh, kind of like the tangent function. All right. As x approaches negative or as x approaches positive 5 from the left, where is it going? Infinity. As it approaches 1, where is it going? Well, this way it's going to infinity. This way it's going to negative infinity. So that is not an answer. As it approaches negative 7 from the right. Negative 7 from the right. Negative 7 from the right. It's going towards negative infinity. Okay. All right. Here's the graph of x over the natural log of x minus 2. Kind of looks like that. Okay, so we got an asymptote going on there. Where at? Well, looks here at about, kind of looks like three-ish. Okay, looks like there's an asymptote at three. So, as we're approaching three from the right, where is it going? Infinity. As we're approaching three from the left, it's going Negative infinity. So as we're approaching from the right, infinity. As we're approaching from the left, it should be negative infinity. So the answer should be B. So sometimes it's easy to look at a graph on your graphing calculator to see what's going on. Negative 5 over X. Okay. So if I put in a 1 here, I'm at negative 5. If I put in a 5 here, I'm at negative 1. So it's going like this. If I put in a negative 5, I'm at 1. If I put in a negative 1, I'm at 5. So it's going like this. So that's how it looks. Okay? So as we're approaching 0, from the left, where am I going? From the left, where am I going? Infinity. As from the right, where am I going? Negative infinity. So from the right, I'm going to negative infinity. From the left, I'm going to positive infinity. So it would be choice C. Okay, you just have to look at the graph to see what's going on. Okay, so horizontal asymptotes now. Okay, as we're going towards infinity this way, where are we going towards? We're going towards a y value of negative 4. So as we're going towards a positive infinity, we're going towards negative 4. As we're going towards negative infinity, where are we going towards? We're getting closer and closer to the x-axis, which is y equals 0. y equals 0. Okay. Um, which one, as we're going towards negative infinity, looks like it's going towards the number 2? Does the first one look like it's going towards 2 as we're going towards negative infinity? No, because there's no asymptote drawn there, so this one looks like it still could go up a ways. Does this one look like it's going towards 2? Yep, as we're going towards negative infinity, this one goes towards this asymptote line. So B is correct. What about C? Does C look like it's correct as it goes towards 2? And C would also be correct. So that's horizontal asymptotes. So how do we find a horizontal asymptote? Here's the thing. This is something to know. So if you're not paying attention, pay attention now. 
if the powers of the highest degree term are the same, use the coefficients to figure out what it is. So we have three over one here. So horizontal asymptote of this would be three. The horizontal asymptote would be three. If the powers are not the same, like in this, if the powers are not the same, if the higher power is in the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is zero. If the, hor if the powers are not the same, and the power in the denominator is higher than the power in the numerator, the horizontal asymptote is zero. If the powers are, the, are not the same and the numerator is the higher power, then the limit is unbounded. The limit is unbounded. It'll either go towards infinity or negative infinity. It doesn't have a horizontal asymptote. Okay? So if the powers are the same, you use the coefficients of your highest powers. If the highest powers are the same, coefficients of the highest power. Higher power on the bottom, zero. Higher power on the top, unbounded. Okay? Know that, know that, know that. Okay? Now, what if we have a radical involved? Well, you have to take the square root of the highest term here. What's the square root of 4x squared? 2x. So this is really 2x over 4x. Powers are the same. So if they're the same, 2 over 4 is 1 half. That's where the horizontal asymptote will be. What's the square root of 4x to the eighth? 2x to the fourth. If it's 2x to the fourth, 2x to the fourth over 2x to the fourth is 1. Okay? Square root of 9x to the twelfth is 3x to the sixth. 9x to the sixth. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, when it goes towards negative infinity, um, it does something different. I don't remember exactly. So if you get one wrong, um, it's a little different going towards negative infinity when it's under a square root. I don't remember exactly what it does, but I think it's pretty close to that. So, yeah, great teaching moment there. I, I don't know. But I, I know of positive infinity, we're right on. So, and I think this is right, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I will put out the two horizontal vertical asymptotes. So then what are we doing next week? Here's what next week is like in here. Monday. Okay, on Monday, we're doing the last section of the chapter, 1.15. Okay? And then we're going to review for the Khan Academy test. Wednesday um, is um, review for AP test. And so your AP test is your tougher one. That's the one where you don't have unlimited tries. That's one where it's one and done. You take it in class. You're all at your own table. It's the test test. Okay? Okay? Now, Friday is a work day for you to work on your Khan Academy test. Okay, so it's simply a work day on Friday. And then the following Monday is the AP test over unit one. So that's what's coming up in the next four class periods. Okay, that's what's coming up. So, you know, we'll be gone next Friday on a bus out to Custer. So that's why it's Khan Academy work day. Khan Academy test slash work day. And then you can watch the video review. Okay. So that's what's going on. There you go. Yes.